We are back in Australia, back in beautiful Australia. And for the first time ever, we have made it to Melbourne. I have left Steve behind today, and that's because I'm going to pick up my wedding dress. I'm so excited. Like any newly engaged bride to be, I went on Instagram, I went on Pinterest, I tried to seek out some inspiration, and I found this incredible brand called One Day Bridal. I found out their head office is right here in Melbourne. So of course we're gonna get on a plane and we're gonna fly there. I have my appointment in about 20 minutes. Today's really just gonna be about trying on all the designs and styles that they have on offer and taking my measurements. I'm gonna walk you guys through the whole process. I'm feeling very nervous. My stomach is in knots. I don't know why. Maybe it's making the wedding a little more real. We might see some tears today, I don't know. <sighs> Let's hope I can find something that fits me and I feel feel comfortable and beautiful in, of course. inside I've met the amazing ladies they've taken me upstairs and I'm seeing lots of shimmery dresses I'm too excited so I'm gonna get stuck in I had a seat with the team and we chatted for about 10 minutes discussing my and Steve's vision for our wedding but when you're setting the tone of the wedding like does it feel like a big you know festival is it you know you, is it is there romance I think it's gonna be quite rustic gonna have a massive fish fry big family vibes it's all about the food we went through things like what sort of environment we were hoping to create how many people we were expecting, the ceremony location and reception venue, and any special things that we might have planned. We yeah. found out yesterday, a friend of ours who set us up on our blind dates, we've asked her to officiate and she said yes. Oh, so, what? Yeah. And then of course we chatted about what sort of dresses from the Chosen by One Day collections had caught my eye up until that point. So when you picture yourself as a bride, can you see yourself in something that is really sparkly? Do you want to do the whole thing? I think so. Wine? Yeah. Maybe. Because I, I was know. getting... Since we'd planned to have an adventure wedding elopement in Namibia before our big wedding day in South Africa, I was looking for gowns for different occasions, and the girls seemed super excited about the fact that it wasn't just one dress we were looking to find that day. I loved this part. It felt like I was just having a chat about my dream wedding with my friends. The main consult is done. The girls have gone downstairs to pick up a few dresses. I have no idea what shape is going to suit me and what I'm going to like, so we're kind of just going to get a mixed bag of dresses, try them on, eliminate a few, and then hopefully obsess over one. I also wanted to find out a little more about the signature chosen by One Day Sparkles. We design all of our own beading. Our design team sketch it up. We have it sampled. It all comes from India, so it's quite a process. Once they receive the final sample that they're happy with, they order the fabric and then make the dresses themselves at their workroom, which is just around the corner from their boutique. Each gown takes around four months to make, so it was incredible to know that I would basically be trying on pieces of handcrafted art for the next hour. Time for dress number one, one tank. The first dress was absolutely exquisite and I was in love. Although I didn't end up choosing the fontaine, I did love the long sleeves, the shape, and the shimmering fabric, of course. I love that shimmer, so I tried on a couple more shimmery gowns. And then some figure-hugging gowns. Wow. And then some shimmery figure-hugging gowns. This one nearly stole my heart and confused me. Then some more gorgeous gowns. This one was really fun. With the bando on, we thought it might be a good time to try on some of the two-piece combos. I love the Parker skirts pockets. And then the amazing founder and creative director of One Day arrived, and I had the privilege of telling her how much I loved her gowns. She's amazing. back in normal civilian clothing, and that was insane. We're recapping now, trying to decide which were the best, which ones we've kind of eliminated. And I'm sitting on, I think, top four, top five maybe. Lots to review, lots to think about. Spent the rest of the day and the next five months trying to make a decision.
three elopement ceremonies we had in Namibia was something out of a dream. And that two-piece was perfect for our adventure. One of my best decisions was going for a two-piece. It's just so fun and a real great way to break the rules of conventional wedding gowns. I still can't believe this happened. The gown I eventually chose for our wedding day ceremony wasn't available yet when I went for my fitting. But as soon as the one day team revealed the Margot online a few months later, I knew it was the one. I couldn't have felt more beautiful that day. And the Freya was exactly what I needed for our party. It shimmered and flowed and I felt amazing. 